Let's imagine we're in a sales meeting and you are tasked with presenting a quick overview of your product sales data. You want to show real-time data, manage it easily, and even generate a professional report to share with your team. To do this, we'll walk through a Node-RED flow step-by-step -step as it appears on the screen. The setup, buttons and controls, the show data, button, what it does. This button is like the ignition key for our flow. Once clicked, it triggers the generation of random sales data for three product categories, phones, laptops, and tablets. How it works. The button is connected to three function nodes that handle the sales data for each product category. Think of this as pressing a button to start collecting the data streams. Node 1, phone sales function. On the screen, you see a node labeled phone sales. What it does, this node generates a random sales number for phones. The output, or payload, is simply a random number between 0 and 100. This ensures that the pie chart knows that the data belongs to the phones category. Node 2, laptop sales function. Moving to the next node, laptop sales, this node works just like the phone sales node, but for laptops. How it helps. Imagine each category of products is being monitored separately, and this node ensures that laptops are given a unique identity on the chart. Node 3, tablet sales function. The third node in this section is tablet sales, how it works. It completes the trio of product categories by adding data for tablets. Together, these three nodes represent all the products whose sales we're tracking. Node 4, pie chart display. Now, the data from the three function nodes flows into a node called UI chart. This node is configured to display a pie chart on the dashboard. What you see, on the dashboard, the chart updates in real time with the random sales numbers for phones, laptops, and tablets. The slices of the chart represent how much each product contributes to the overall sales. The Clear Data button. Look at the next part of the flow where you see a button labeled Clear Data. What it does, when you click this button, it sends an empty payload qua to the pie chart, instantly clearing all the data. Why it's useful? Imagine you're done with one set of data and want to start fresh. Instead of manually resetting everything, one click clears the chart. The Generate PDF button. Now, let's move to the Generate PDF button. What it does, this button is like your assistant. It takes the chart data and packages it into a professional PDF report. How it works. The HTML template node formats the sales data into a visually appealing HTML structure. This includes placeholders for the chart data. The HTML PDF converter node converts the formatted HTML into a PDF. The file saver node saves the PDF to a specific location, making it easy to access later. Debug nodes. At the edges of the flow, you'll notice some debug nodes. What they do? These are like check-ins or markers. They let us monitor the output of certain nodes and ensure the flow is running smoothly. If something goes wrong, the debug nodes will help us pinpoint the issue. Real-time use on the dashboard. Step 1. Open your dashboard and press Show Data. Instantly, the pie chart fills up with colorful slices representing phones, laptops, and tablets. Step 2. Need a clean slate? Just click Clear Data, and the chart is reset. Step 3. Before leaving the meeting, press Generate PDF, and voila! A ready-to-share sales report is saved on your system. This flow isn't just for sales. It's a framework you can adapt to visualize any data. From IoT sensor readings to team performance metrics, this Node-RED setup gives you power and flexibility in one neat package. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found this explanation of the Node-RED flow helpful and easy to understand. If you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. Also, 
Check out the description below for links to other related videos and resources that will help you dive deeper into Node Red and create even more powerful flows. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy coding and take care.